this is Let's Get Retro in association with RetroMinimum.com. Actually, it's not Let's Get Retro today, it's Let's Get Rifted, yes! Ooh. As you can see, I made a slight modification there, um, which is probably going to fall off in a minute. Uh, yeah, basically, um, just in time for the new one to come out. <laughs> um, I have I picked up a Nokia Rift a couple of weeks ago, and I'm just going to stick up a few videos with just some of the really cool demos and things that are out there. Um, now, a couple of things. Firstly, it's going to be the usual. I'm not doing any of the stupid reaction ones where people are going, ah, oh, look, it's a, it's a spider. Who? Um, I'm not going to do any of those because they've been done before, and people, you know, they're, they're just people can do them better than I can. Um, but what I am going to do is uh, I'm going to show you a couple of more interesting things out there. Now, the only thing is you're going to see it in the the Oculus. Um, what's it called? Uh, uh, excuse me, sorry, a late night. Uh, it's going to be the Yakuza kind of side by side format. So, um, uh, so apparently, some people can actually, if they can squint and look at it, they can get the 3D effect. But uh, it'll give you an idea what, uh, you know, what, what's been outputted. Um, anyway, enough rambling. Let's show you something interesting. This is VR Cinema. This is actually one of the coolest things I've seen so far because... Watch this. Watch. Okay, now I'm going to teleport. So hang on, I'm just going to move to a better seat. Um, the idea with the whole system is that you can basically uh, load up a film and then watch it in a virtual cinema. Now, it's a bit still... At the moment, the, the Oculus is a bit hard on the eyes. So after an hour or two, um, like you'd, you'd really probably not be... You know, you'd probably watch maybe one movie. Um, you couldn't probably, at the moment, the way things are, you probably, you know, more than one film would probably leave your eyes a bit red and raw. But it's, uh, I've, it's watchable, I've watched stuff on it before. Obviously, um, because of YouTube and its current uh, copyright fatwa, um, I can't show you an actual film here, which is why you're looking at me talking. But, um, it will work with most AVI files. Um, there is another, it will actually work with 3D stuff as well. Um, I have a copy of Th Tron 3D. Um, now I couldn't get it working specifically with this, but there's another one called OR. I think it's uh, OR Cinema or OR Viewer. Um, that's, it's not as impressive as this, it's just a blank screen. Uh, sorry, it's just a screen and a black room, but uh, it handles 3D very well. So it's uh, one to look for. But it's one of those odd things you wouldn't think, you think, oh, it's just going to be all, you know, uh, first person shooters and things. You don't think, this is the kind of cool stuff that I like. This is, um, you know, hopefully it'll be stuff like this, and instead of boring teleconferencing, you can do cool teleconferencing, which is still teleconferencing, but at least you can be in a room with the other people and, you know, look around. But uh, again, all this needs now is someone serving you popcorn. But it's actually pretty cool because my seat that I'm actually sitting on uh, lines up pretty well with the cinema seats. So other than the fact that I'm invisible, uh, it's, it's, it's just like the real thing. Anyway, let's see if I can show you something else. Okay, so I had to change microphones. This is, as you saw there, Zombies on the Holodeck. Now, the reason my arms look so odd there is it's quite simply this is designed to work with a thing called a Razor Hydra, um, which is a sort of, think of it as an industrial strength strength Wii remote. Um, you basically have two controllers, one for each hand, and everywhere you move, it's got total tr instant tracking. So I'd, if I had one of those, I'd be waving those guns around and my arms wouldn't look straight and weird like that. They would look normal. Anyway, um, this is kind of a film noir kind of, 50s Z movie style. Oh, hang on, zombie. Oh, just a flesh wound. I forgot. Jeez, I think I get him. I like the way his hair is modelled on Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, yeah, basically it's a 50 style noir thing. Um, the black and white actually helps. You think it'll make it less realistic, but it just really you adapt to it really quickly. Um, from what I can tell, and I haven't really researched this. In fact, I'm going straight into this blind pretty much. Um, let's see if I can pick that up. Uh, how do I do it again? Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, he's holding his hands in a very unusual. It's like, it's like his hands are made of pipe cleaners. Um, yeah, basically, I'm going into this blind, but from what I can tell, it'll actually play as a little kind of land game, which is pretty cool. Um, I must look into it a bit more. Oh, actually, I actually was going to show you a different game, uh, it's a different zombie game, which is actually pretty funny. But um, now the thing with this is, I don't want to spoil 
there's a lot of things, like, you know, there's a lot of games that I was going to show you, but I don't want to spoil them. I mean, there's a thing called Lunar Droid 237, which is fantastic. But if I show you it, it you know, in two, you see it in 2D or in, in Squinto Vision, if you're currently trying desperately to use the screen like a magic eye, um, it's, you know, it's going to ruin it for you. So uh, I, I have to be very selective about what I show, but um, I'm just going to show you a little bit of this game. It is really worth checking out. Now, let's see. Oh, and if you have an Oculus Rift, if you watch the YouTube video in this uh, format, you'll see it in 3D. But if you have an Oculus Rift, you know, just play the game instead. I mean, you'll be better than I am. Um, it's like I said, I've found so far, like, um, it, it's pretty cool being able to look at weird and unusual things, not just, you know, um, I mean, I have been playing things like Skyrim and that. I've used the Vorpex driver and the Perception, the Visio Perception drivers and things. Um, the Visio Perception seems to be slightly better for Skyrim than, than anything else. Bioshock Infinite, uh, I was using the Vorpex. But, um, but yeah, no, I like finding weird and unusual things. And this is, this is, this is a little bit weird. The whole kind of, you know, black and white thing. But, um, like the likes of the VR cinema is really the cool stuff that I kind of go, wow, this is exactly what it is. It's another one, um, The Trial of the Rift Drifter, I think it's called. And it does some pretty cool things with um, having to shake your head or, or nod. It actually picks up that, which is really just total outside the box thinking, you know, of what to do the, the use the Rift for. Anyway, listen, after that lovely headshot there, I shall leave you and bid you adieu. Um, next time I'm back with some retro stuff, although I want to do some 3D stuff. Uh, actually, there's a there's a virtual boy emulator out for the the Oculus. I must see if I can give that a try because that combines both, 3D and retro. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I shall see you next time.